Hi everyone, my name is Leah Van Dyke, and today I'll be reading as part of this series the poems of Mary Oliver. Um, in the time that we're in now, but also just at any point, reading her poems has really been a really um, rich and fulfilling um, experience for me, and I just wanted to be able to share maybe some of her words with you, whether they bring you comfort or stimulation or joy, or even let you sit a little bit with the sadness that we're in. And so the first poem I'm going to read is called Wild Geese. You do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Tell me about despair, yours, and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across the landscape, over the prairies and the deep trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild geese, high in the clear blue air, and heading home again. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination, calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and exciting, over and over announcing your place in the family of things. The Summer Day. Who made the world? Who made the swan and the black bear? Who made the grasshopper? This grasshopper, I mean. The one who has flung herself out of the grass, the one who is eating sugar out of my hand, who is moving her jaws back and forth instead of up and down, who is gazing around with her enormous and complicated eyes. Now she lifts her pale forearms and thoroughly washes her face. Now she snaps her wings open and floats away. I don't know exactly what a prayer is. I do know how to pay attention, how to fall down into the grass, how to kneel down in the grass how to be idle and blessed, how to stroll through the fields, which is what I have been doing all day. Tell me, what else should I have done? Doesn't everything die at last and too soon? Tell me, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? The Use of Sorrows. In my sleep, I dreamed this poem. Someone I loved once gave me a box full of darkness. It took me years to understand that this too was a gift. Don't hesitate. If you suddenly and unexpectedly feel joy, don't hesitate, give in to it. There are plenty of lives and whole towns destroyed or about to be. We are not wise and not very often kind and can, much can never be redeemed. Still, life has some possibility left. Perhaps this is its way of fighting back that sometimes something happens better than all the riches or power in the world. It could be anything, but very likely you notice it in the instant when love begins. Anyways, that often, that's often the case. Anyway, whatever it is, don't be afraid of its plenty. Joy is not made to be a crumb. Invitation. Oh, do you have time to linger for just a little while out of your busy and very important day? For the goldfinches that have gathered in a field of thistles for a musical battle, who see who can sing the highest note or the lowest, or the most expressive of mirth or the most tender. Their strong blunt beaks drive the air as they strive melodiously, not for your sake, and not for mine, and not for the sake of winning, but for sheer delight and gratitude. Believe us, they say, it is a serious thing just to be alive on this fresh morning in the broken world. I beg of you, do not walk by without pausing to attend to this rather ridiculous performance. It could mean something. It could mean everything. It could be what Rilke meant when he wrote, you must change your life. <laughs> 